Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explain how to use patches in Matplotlib. Patches refer to a collection of shapes in Matplotlib, such as rectangles, circles, ellipses, and polygons. There are many different types of patches like this, so I'm not going to write the code out for each one of them. I already have them beforehand. So we're just going to go through these one by one, and I'll explain how to use them and how to customize them in different ways. The first one that we're going to take a look at is the rectangle patch. This is uh, what the code for it looks like. All the patches are stored within this matplotlib.patches module. We're going to be importing them from here one by one. This is what the rectangle looks like. This is the initial point, which we pass in as the first parameter to the rectangle class. Okay, that's important to keep in mind, is that the initial point of the rectangle is the lower left corner. All right, so the height is equal to 5, width is equal to 10, then the angle is equal to 30, which means that the rectangle will be slightly rotated, and color is equal to red. Pretty straightforward, right? And if I run this code, we can see a rectangle over here, 5 units in height and 10 units in width, roughly. There's another parameter that we can also use, fill is equal to false. And this basically removes the fill. Okay, now there's one more thing I should mention is that I have explicitly mentioned the axes over here. Why have I done this? Because if I remove this, actually, watch. See, it looks as though our patch has not been drawn, but it actually has. Let me just zoom out a bit. All right, where is it? Where is it? Ah, there we are. Okay, see, there it is. The reason for this is that normally in matplotlib, when we call the axis.plot function, it automatically scales our axes for us. But when we call the add patch function to add a patch to the, to the axes, then this does not do that whole rescaling thing. All right, you, so you need to do this yourself. You can either explicitly define the axes, okay, like this, or what you can do is axis dot auto scale view and axis dot relim this auto scales the view after we draw it okay so now it looks like this see the window expanded just enough so that we could see the patch all right so do whichever one you prefer let's take a look at the next patch here we have the code for the circle okay and it's pretty similar and the interesting thing is that most of the parameters for these different patches are all the same. The same fill parameter is here. Then there's edge color as well. Uh, and then there's this initial point. Radius instead of width and height. Same thing, really. So if I run this code now, we can get a circle over here that has no fill. And it's roughly 10 units in diameter. Okay. So 5 to 15. Okay, pretty straightforward, not much to look at. Let me just see if there's a color parameter. I can't remember whether they're separate colors. No, there isn't. Or wait, is there? Face color, maybe? Nope. Or actually, come to think of it, we turned the fill off. That's most likely why this happened. All right, so yeah, there we go. Now, if I just zoom in a bit, okay, you can see it's a bit hard to see actually, but there's a, a red outline, and I think we can also use line width, like uh, five. These are very common parameters in Matplotlib, so they almost always work. There we go. I just kind of randomly did that because I'm familiar with Matplotlib's API. So I just, you know, did that. That's the good thing about keeping everything standard because then you can easily predict what the parameters are going to be, right? And these parameters should also work on the rectangle, by the way, right? And the other patches that we're going to be exploring in today's video. So let's move on to the next one. Here we have ellipse, which is pretty much the same thing as circle. There's no real difference, honestly. Instead of radius, it's width and height. And the parameters are the same, really. So if I just 
run this to show you once. It's this over here. Okay, simple ellipse. Nothing much to see here. Let's move on to the next one. Here we have a regular polygon. Okay, a regular polygon basically plots regular polygons, such as triangles and uh, squares, pentagons, hexagons, etc. Right? So I'm going to pass in these parameters numbers equal to three uh, vert vertices, then radius is five, base color and edge color we're using again, and we have an initial value as well. So if I run this, we'll get a triangle because the number of vertices is three, and we can see our triangle right here. If I change the number of vertices to four, we'll get a square instead, see? And uh, it's a bit rotated, but okay. Then let's go with five. And there we get a pentagon. Then six produces a hexagon and etc. I wonder what seven looks like. Hmm. Okay. Never really seen that one before. But okay. Anyways, let's um, move on to the next one. There's again there's not much to see here. It's very simple uh plotting and drawing. And finally, we have the polygon. The polygon is a very customizable patch. We can pass in our own shape. We just need to pass in the coordinates that create that shape, and it's going to draw it for us. That's really convenient, right? And yeah, that's really great, because this thing replaces rectangles. It replaces regular polygons. The only thing it really can't do is, you know, a circle. Um, yeah, I mean, you could, actually, if you you know, created a circle by plotting in all of these small, small points. You just need to make them very close to each other. But obviously, that's not very efficient. But yeah. So uh, this is a pair of coordinates. And just to make this a bit more clear, it's a tuple with, you know, coordinate pairs. Now, it doesn't really make a difference whether it's a tuple or a list. Okay, uh, I, I just made it a tuple. It can be a list as well. Then just pass this list into the polygon. And if I run this code, we can see that we get a simple polygon over here. Okay. And if I just change this to 18, just to show you how this is changing. All right. See, the order of the coordinate pairs is important, by the way, don't screw that up. All right. For example, if I take this, if I take 2, 2 and put it over here, swapping the first and second ones, then see what happens, see? So the, the order in which you go in is actually important. We generally follow a counterclockwise uh, order. So always start from like the bottom left roughly, and then, you know, or bottom center, and then like go like this, you know, counterclockwise, all right? That's just a piece of advice for you. And other than that, we can also customize it by using the same parameters as we did earlier, like color is equal to green. And here we go. Okay. And the other parameters like angle, line width, and all that, they still apply over here, edge color, face color, etc. So yeah, this marks the end of our video on matplotlib patches. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Bye then.